everyone, it is Nicole here and it is like 1 in the morning and I am in my, hold on, <laughs> monster onesie that I am madly in love with. It even has feet. I'm not that flexible. So, this week's topics are um, what do you do when you have friends who don't accept you and do you find it beneficial or harmful? to have high standards or a checklist for people that you want to be in a relationship with. Um, I'm going to cover or talk about what to do when um, you have friends that don't accept you. What to do when you have friends that don't accept you. First of all, you need to get new friends. Because if you have friends that don't accept you for you, then they're not really your friends. Your true friends will love you for you, flaws and all, and I know it sounds so cliche and cheesy, but it's so true. You should not have to feel like you need to change to keep your friends or to impress your friends, and you shouldn't, like, your friends shouldn't be trying to change you so that you can hang out with them. Your friends will love you for you, and... If your friends aren't accepting you for you, then they're not your friends and you definitely need to find new friends. And I know it can be hard to find friends, especially if you deal with like anxiety or you're really shy, but I can promise you that you will find friends who accept you for you. There are so many people out there, even if it takes time, but there are people out there that will love you and accept you for you and won't try and change you. Because I have experienced this. I had a really hard time making friends. Because, honestly, I'm a fucking weird person. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm, like, 10 years old. I'm really hyper. I'm really talkative. I'm really happy. I don't really have a filter when I speak. So sometimes I say really stupid, weird, random shit. And people just, like, they're just like, what the fuck? Um, so I always had a really hard time making friends. Because I was so outgoing. And I was... So, like, I just wanted to talk to everyone and be friends with everyone, and I just, like, was really out there up until I got to, like, ninth grade. And so up until then, I had always tried to be someone I wasn't to fit in with a certain group of people, and I had made friends who always tried to change me, and I completely lost sight of who I was and who I wanted to be as a person. It took me a really long time to kind of get back on track to find who I was and who I wanted to be and who I was becoming and growing to be. Um, it took a while and it's all because I made friends who I either felt like I needed to impress to fit in with or they tried to change me and I have finally found friends who love me for me and I don't feel like I have to act a certain way around them I can just act like me and it is like so much better because when I was friends with these people who I felt like I needed to change for and friends who felt like they needed to change me I was mentally physically and emotionally exhausted and I just became someone that I wasn't, and I didn't like it, and I wasn't happy. And your happiness is the most important. So, eventually, you can find friends who enjoy the same things you do, who will accept you for you. You can join clubs at school, and I swear that's, like, the best thing to do is join, like, clubs at school that you enjoy, or, like, a sport. So, let's say you're into badminton. Well, if you go try out for badminton or basketball or whatever, um, then most likely the people there are going to be interested in that and you can build friendships off that. But just try and find people who are have similar interests as you. But also it's good to find people who have different interests because I like my friends to be similar to me but also really different because I like to learn from people too. Like I don't want to <laughs> be friends with myself. You know, that's no fun. So... If you're friends with people who don't accept you, find new friends um, because you can't change your friends and they can't change you. It is exhausting and it is not worth it. You might as well find friends who love you for you, even if it takes time. So that is all for this video. I hope that made sense. I'm not sure if it was helpful. Hopefully it was, but um, 
trust me, I know this from experience. I spent many, many years trying to change myself and allowing people to change me, and it's just it's not worth it. It is not worth it at all. So find friends that make you happy and find friends that accept you for you. And don't waste your time on people who are not worth your time. Because the people who are trying to change you are not your real friends and they are not worth your time. So, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!